What's up everybody? I want to show you two new things I have gotten. And yes, you guessed it from the title of this video. Those aren't cigarettes, but cigarette shaped fountain pens. And uh, those are just some, some, you know, novelty gadgets, novelty items. Because they are from a Chinese company called Luoshi. And the model is called 385B. 385B. Those have supposedly um, fine nibs. One is slightly broader, slightly more medium than the other one, but that's fine. And let me just tell you, I do like my portable pens. Those are three pens I already reviewed. Jinhao Pocket Missile. About the same size, also hooded nib designs. Very, very small, very handy, very light, but they do dry out really quickly even if they hold a de even they even hold a decent amount of ink um, this one has been dried out because I haven't carried it for maybe a week didn't write with it for a week you take that metal color off this aerometric converter dries out really quickly but you can get it full just press on it like six, seven times, maybe 12, maybe 137 times. Up to you. So, I don't know how these will perform because I just got those. And let's keep one here for size comparison. This is an Otto Tasche, slightly longer. This has a great nib, Japanese pen. And these are some of my Kaveco Sports, just for size comparison. Those are serious pens, by the way. Those aren't just, you know, small things you have in your pocket. Those are real pens. They hold real ink, a real good amount of ink, and have fantastic nibs. Of course, they cost, um, well, about 20 times more than this one. <laughs> because one of the, uh, well, it, it was sold in a two-pack, <laughs> like cigarettes are. In a two-pack? No, not really. But you know what I mean. It was supposed to be funny, now laugh, dick. Um, two pieces for $6.49. That's under 5 euros. And those are actually metal pens. They have screw-on caps and the caps are like the filters on cigarettes. You can post the filter, let's call it filter, on the back and out comes a chrome colored grip section with a hooded nib. And this, uh, these things are the threads. It's a fairly light pen. I filled it up and full it weighs nine grams so still very light an empty Jinhao pocket missile weighs 14 I don't know how many milliliters you can get in there in the converter I'm gonna open it up for you in just a second so you can screw it open and there you have a tiny very thin um, Aerometric converter. And how that works, well, let me screw it open again. You take your bottle of ink, stick the nib in there, and press, release, press, release, press, release. No, it's not a press release. You press it and then you release it. English is a fun language. So you screw it shut again. And uh, I hold it kind of like that you know just above the threads it's kind of short but it works better for me because this step down those threads are really sharp really sharp they, they grab the skin if you run over them and uh, down there I just have not nothing to work with um, it's very thin there so I use it like that it's not for extended writing it's just a pen you don't have to think about you can throw in your pocket 
because something like 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 this or something like this I wouldn't want to have to break what it I would not want it to break in my pocket or lose it because those were a little bit more expensive and they are actually very nice riders this one more so than this one these are nice riders as well especially for the price and especially um, for the size so I have some paper here because I'm prepared always be prepared you know so what are we going to write something I'm always writing it seems So it does write smoothly, and really smoothly for that matter. It is kind of wet. So that's nice. Does it flex? Not really. You have some very, very minor line variation, but not nothing dramatic you can write upside down with it really nicely looks a little bit pale the ink but that's okay it it, it really is nice to write with it, it is completely smooth but thick enough to grab here I wish it would be just a little bit longer there but then again I'm not gonna write more than this with this pen in one setting maybe you know write a phone number down or something because I'm old school, I write shit down. So this is pen number one, and on the filter it says Luoshi, some Chinese gibberish, I assume, and there's a little man eating a popsicle, or giving you a thumbs up, I can't say, and it says 0.38 millimeters, so it's a 38 caliber fountain pen, that's awesome. Is there 38? Has it something to do with inches? 0.38 inches or 0.38 centimeters? It must be inches. My god, I'm stupid. Alright, on the uh, other pen it says the same thing. God, that was embarrassing. 0.38 centimeters? No. Absolutely not. Otherwise, it would have been this caliber. Scratch that! I embarrassed myself, not knowing my calibers, how dare I! So the other pen is slightly slimmer. Um, what I mean by that, it is slightly finer, the nib is. Night gathers and now my watch begins! shall not end until my death. And this nib seems to be just a little bit harder, just a little bit finer, but not scratchier in the least. So very nice fountain pens, especially for the money, something you don't have to think about. Oh my god, I lost my fountain pen. Yes, oh my god, it cost like $3.20 plus the ink. So nothing really to cry about and definitely absolutely a decent performer if you have to use a pen just in a jiffy thanks so much for watching have a good night roll tap